When I'm spitting, I'm insane with flames. Come on, yeah, you know I'm a game, my thing. I came to flame you rappers. I'm insane, my frames collapsing every time I'm spitting, cause I train my brain. So let's go. Hey, Nicholas Hausler. Hausler, my man Nick. All right, I'm gonna let you guys chop it up. Yes. Nick, make sure you turn on your camera. Come in. Nick Hausler, Yo. in the place to be. What's up, Harry, man? How I'm you doing? chilling. I'm chilling. The doctor is in the building, folks. We are here. <laughs> Show him some love, Twitch. Let's see some, some flames in the chat right now from my man. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Yes. Greetings from Germany. Hope you're doing well, Harry, man. I'm ready to listen to some awesome freestyles, man, that you got. I'm going to be sick. Oh, it's going to be incredible, man. I'm, I'm feeling great, man. We're super blessed to have you here all the way from Germany tapping in. Uh, it's, it's an honor, man. Thank you for joining us. Super happy to be here. Thanks, man. Thanks. So you and I had the opportunity to talk on the phone, and I got to know you a little bit and, and, and uh, you know, specifically about the, the work that you're doing in neuroscience. But for the people who, you know, are watching this right now and, and are just meeting you now for the first time, go ahead and, and introduce yourself and, and talk to us a little bit about, you know, what, what work you do as a, uh, as a neuroscientist. Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Nick. Uh, formerly Dr. Nicholas Häusler, which is a very German name, I guess. Um, I have a PhD in neuroscience and, um, you know, psychologist, neuroscientist, because I love the brain. That's what I focus on. And that's why I contacted you, Harry, because I founded a, a startup in Germany called Neuro11. Right. And what we do is, this is our logo right here, man, represent. Yeah. And uh, what we focus on, <laughs> what we focus on is we train the brain of elite athletes and I've worked with musicians here in Germany before um, to get into the optimal brain state. So flow is like a central theme to us. So when I listen to your freestyles, man, for me, it was like, you know, like I, I called you before, man, you're the flow spreader, you know, you're the guy that knows how to get in the zone, how to spread it, you know, like to show people what it means to be in flow. And uh, that's my focus, you know, to try to help athletes get into the zone so they know how to, you know, make those clutch three pointers to, score those free kicks in soccer so that's that's my main main thing that i'm interested in 100 percent, man that's awesome that's awesome and i'm obviously somebody who's very obsessed with flow right on multiple levels i mean when, when we talk about rap we talk about flow right referring to you know the rhythm and and the sound of the voice and sort of the inflection and the way that somebody flows over the beat um, so, so, you know, there's, there's that tie in obviously to what I do, but then also, you know, what you're referring to in terms of flow state, right. And sort of being able to enter that zone and sort of clear the mind. So for people watching who might not be familiar with flow state, what is that? You know, what, what are we talking about when, you, when you're talking about working with athletes on flow state, what exactly are you, are you working with them to achieve? Okay. So I think the way people see flow is very different when you, you know, like, you you'll call flow flow, but maybe your definition of flow is different than to, for example, a soccer player. You know, who's in like, you know, it's all about passing the ball. You know, in a certain rhythm and stuff like that. You know, right. to be in the in the zone with somebody else. But for me, as a neuroscientist, flow means that you're in an optimal brain state. So let me give you an example. When when you're sleeping, your brain frequency is very low. You know, you're like you're super relaxed. Or when you're super calm, you know, like super relaxed, you cannot perform very well because you're not actually mentally focused enough. And when you're over anxious or when you're over excited about something, um, you know, you also cannot perform very well because you're just like, you know, like you're, you, you know, like you're, you're about to give a talk and you're just like, man, like, you know, it's cool. Like you remember those times, right? Of course. Um, so the optimal, the optimal key right here is to, to get into the zone between being too intense and too relaxed. And we call that like a, it's a great mixture of being mentally focused. And yet from a body point of view, you're very calm, you know, you're very relaxed. And I think that's, I, you know, that's what music does, man. That's what rap does. It gets you into that thing, you know, because you're all like, you know, relaxed. At the same time, you're focused because you want to deliver. Right. You have a certain thing to, you know, deliver to the people. And what I do, I put electrodes on people. I actually measure their brain frequency. And that's how they learn to get into the, that perfect state of mind, into that perfect brain state. And that's worldwide unique, man. That's like our our attitude with, uh, with Neuro11 is to bring something like extremely new to the table that elite athletes can, you know, profit from. That's so dope. That's so dope. So you're actually able to look inside the brains, so to speak, of elite athletes when they're performing their, their you know, like challenging tasks as athletes and see what's really going on inside their brains, right? Exactly. So I can do it. I cannot do it while they're moving because that's just like not possible scientifically. But when they're still, so let's say uh, you take elite rifle shooters, for example, yeah. right that moment before they pull the trigger, 
it's all about being or getting into the perfect state of mind or before you take a free kick in soccer uh, or you know before taking a three pointer in basketball right. that's exactly when you want to get into that perfect state of mind you don't want to think about what you're going to have for dinner you don't want to think about your your dad dying two years ago or something you know because that's right. just going to like take your thoughts away you're going to think about it too much at the same time man like if you haven't slept well and you're too tired it's so much harder for you to get into the zone to get into flow so you want to get that you know to hit that sweet spot and yes. I, I know that's that's what you're man that's like what you're constantly achieving and i think you have a special talent for it man like that's that's your biggest gift in my opinion i appreciate that man coming from you a a, a, a true flow state expert it really means a lot and i appreciate it and you know i will say i'm, I'm always striving to achieve that flow state right and and you know uh, on certain occasions, I'm more successful. On, on other occasions, sometimes I feel like I don't quite get there, right? And and so, you know, I have found for me, right, that when I really feel like, okay, this is important, Harry, you have to do good, right? When I have that type of thought, like, this is a big one. Going to freestyle next to Kendrick Lamar, for example, right? And and you start, you know, yeah. thinking, yeah, oh, my man, God, solid. like, yeah. this is, you know, this guy's one of my yeah. idols. Like, this guy's my hero. He's a legend, you know? I have to kill it. And I've found that in situations yeah. where I'm saying that to myself, right, you have to kill it. In other words, when I'm trying really hard to do well, it's actually more difficult for me to enter yeah. that flow state. And And strangely enough, it almost feels like, if I don't care, right? Like if I, if I decide, well, it's okay. You know, Hey, if I do a, if I yeah. do a, a mediocre job today, so be it. Paradoxically, I end mm -hmm. up doing better, right? Is that something that you found in your studies as well, that we, you kind of almost have to decide not to care quite as much in order to do your best? Yeah. That, but that's like your personality, man. Like that's, it can be different. Like I always see people like that are too eager. Like, you know, I think we're in that aspect. We're pretty similar. We overthink things. We're too excited about things. But you'll see people that are too relaxed as well. So those kind of athletes, I have to actually pump up a bit. They have to understand what is the meaning of the thing that we're doing right now. But for you, like to give you actually a training example for us, like if I yeah. live in LA and we work together, I'd, I'd train with you that you learn what it means to be in the perfect state of mind. And next time you meet Kendrick or you meet somebody famous or before you go on stage, you know exactly like you have the techniques to bring you down, to calm you down. So for example, meditation help somebody like you to to really you know find your inner self before you go out there and you have to deliver on something that's extremely important to you right because that's right. like man that's like all that's what the best of the best do right they're able to deliver when it really matters and they do that because they have this crazy confidence in themselves and that's how they stay calm you know that's right. how they get into that state that's awesome no that makes a lot of sense it's that sweet spot you can't be too chill about it you have to recognize that it's an important moment but not overthink it and then and then talk yourself down um exactly question so you're obviously very involved you know in the scientific aspects of a flow state right as a, as a with a you know a neuroscience background um but there's also mm -hmm. kind of like a spiritual component to flow state for some people certainly right in terms of meditation mm -hmm. and you know mindfulness and breath control and things like that i'm curious do you yeah. you know take interest in that spiritual side do you meditate or or you know is that something that that has played a role in your studies or are you more focused primarily on you know the brain science behind it no man like i've i've come to learn like you know um that's the funny thing. Like, I'm not the super nerd, you know, when it comes to that. Like, I don't just see the signs of it. I do believe that there's, you know, some people, even if they believe in things that are good for them, they should do it no yeah. matter what. Right. Um, I, I meditate myself as well. That's what I actually, I work with, uh, with players. I teach them how to meditate, um, you know, especially, you know, for people that are overthinking before practice, before big games, young talents, you know, who are, you know, they're just too excited about the moment. Um, and I, I, you know, what's interesting is for, for meditation, for example, there's the, the neuroscientific literature on it. It's very clear that it has a great, great benefit and it should be, should be done by more people out there, man. Like it's something positive. You can take like no damage of it. Honestly, everybody in this chat, I can a hundred percent recommend it. It decreases your stress level, your cortisol levels. You should take a look at the scientific literature. It's, it's just amazing. Everybody should do it. And it's something great that yes, it comes from a spiritual world. Let's just call it that way. Right. But it definitely has it has its place even in our Western society. And we should should be open for it. And I think we should do it. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it from the doctor himself. 
Uh, do it. Yeah, I've been getting into meditation more and more lately for these same reasons that we're talking about, you know, for, for trying to become more efficient at achieving flow state and trying to sort of understand what it means to be in flow on, on a deeper level. So I love that. Um, Nick, you've had the opportunity to work directly with some of the like most celebrated sports coaches in the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit? Who, who have you worked with and, and uh, what were those experiences like? And, you know, what did they find so valuable about what you're what you're offering? I think, um, yeah, I mean, I've worked with a few. I don't want to, like, you know, pull out, pull out, like, too many names and stuff. But it's like no, but we, people you know, need in to the hear, Premier man. League. Like, <laughs> what, what's that? Oh, people want to hear, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us who you've worked with. I've, I've worked with, like, let, let's just say some of the most famous German football coaches in the world. Some of the best. And, uh. The, the thing that they really see is, or the number one thing that they really see is that um, the ability to measure whatever we talk about, you know, like there's a lot of people out there, sports psychologists that like, they talk about flow state, you know, they know, they, they tell you have to do this and this, right. but they're not able to measure it. So this is where the neuroscientific guy, you know, like somebody, you know, who studied it comes in where you're like, okay, look, I can look at your data. I can analyze it. We've developed a certain way to analyze it and to figure it out. Right. And that's brand new to the table because in the end, Honestly, like those clubs, they're businesses. So they want to they want to uh, work on something that's data based. You need to give them the data. Right. Sorry, man. I, I kind of took off your uh, your, <laughs> what your excitement there. But I, I cannot call too many names, you know, because it's still like up and running and Corona is coming in, you know, so I no, 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 no. Like 100% no, about it. No, not at all. Totally understand <laughs> that, bro. I, I just wanted you to feel yeah. feel free to, to flex a little bit if you wanted to. But no, no problem. No, I'm just fascinated by what you're saying, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. No, I mean. And that's that's how I know, you know, that like the, the things that we do, they they deserve their place in the, at the highest level, and that's why I contacted you, man, because, you know, like I mean, I, I I really think that your talent is absolutely unique. There's a lot of people out there that do good freestyles. There's a lot of great people that do amazing albums, of course. Right. But that's, I really think the freestyle that you bring to the table is unique because you don't have that. I feel like you don't have that like super too hardcore aggressive freestyle you have that honestly it comes from like a talent like you have this crazy associative ability you know like um there's a there's an area in your brain that's that's uh, very important for associating different words and putting them into context together and you have i mean like i'd love to put you into a brain scanner and then just just check out your brain while you do it because man like you'd, you'd be amazing i'm sure like your brain area is like extremely crazy when it comes to that well, well, first of all, thank you, man. I appreciate that so much. And I would love to do that. That would be awesome. We, let's plan on doing that, man. When this COVID shit is, is <laughs> figured good, out, I'm, I'm there, come man. To Germany. I would love to come out to Germany, man. Maybe I can get Once a show set up. Done. Yeah, 100%, yeah. man. I would love to see what's really going on in the brain. Um, but yeah, that whole associative thing that you're talking about, you know, is, is huge. And it's something that I practice. And, you know, to anybody in the chat, too, or people watching this, who have asked, you know, for advice on getting started freestyling or some of the te techniques that go into it. You know, one thing that I practice outside of actually rapping, because there's a lot of elements that I practice that don't involve me rapping. You know, they're, they're just other types of brain exercises that are related to my rapping. But certainly um, free association is one that I really work on, right? As far as taking a, um, you know, it's an object, for example, or a word, like if here I have a pen, mm -hmm. You know, you might look at it and say, well, it's, it's one thing and one thing only. You know, it's obviously a pen, and that's the only idea. But what I try to do is see everything expansively and, and try to associate like you're talking about. So how many different concepts or words can we pull from this singular object of pen? You know, we have pen, but we also have writing utensil, ink, penmanship, cursive, italics, stories, mm -hmm. scripts, screenwriting, out of ink, dry, broken, throwaway, trash, words, <laughs> vocabulary, mind, expansion, language, speaking, Sanskrit. See, Your Egyptian. brain region is being active right now, man. Like it's going wild. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and and the, you know what's interesting too is even just right there, it started kind of slow and I was sort of like intentionally trying to do it. And then at a certain point, I, I kind of fell into it, you know, and it, they started to come quickly and I, and yeah. some of those walls kind of come down. And I feel like even just yeah. in that little micro example, there's a little bit of entering flow state there uh, partway into for the sure, man. Yeah, for sure. I think that's, that's a, that's a brilliant thing. And, and you know, what's crazy is like, if you think about it, part of what you do is in meditation again, when you come back to that, right. Is you stay in the, in the, in the moment, right? Like right. You, you, you learn how to be in the moment. You're not judging. You're just completely in the moment right now. And what you're doing with the pen, man, is the exact same thing, right? right. 
you're not thinking about like the future or the past or whatever. You're just like looking at it. It's just, I have one here. It's just like an object and you're just like giving it words. You're giving it words. You're focused on the moment, right? Yeah. So there's a, you know, there's a, there's an association right there, you know, which is, I think it's just, that's why freestyle rapping, man. And I told you before, I, I did it for, for like a bit. Yeah. And I, I know like when I hear your freestyle, it's awesome because you're just in the moment. And when you spread the freestyle to all those listeners out there, it gives you a chance to be in the moment, to not think about your problems. You're in the moment. And that's, that's what flow does. And that's why we always strive, humans strive to be in flow because it's just a great experience. 100%. That's why we love listening to good albums, man. Because yeah. it, it takes your, it takes the pressure away. You're just like, you're just in the moment. Absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. And I, I really do think that, you know, I'm someone, I talk about this all the time on stream. So they've all heard this a million times, but you know, I'm somebody who loves to practice and, you know, I'm sort of obsessed with practicing, right? And working on my craft and working on freestyling, doing exercises like what I just did. And I've realized now, you know, I didn't really realize this consciously while I was doing it. I mean, I've been practicing music since I was seven, you know, and I've always sort of loved it. Um, I realize now that I think a big part of the reason why I love it is because I'm able to enter that flow state while I'm practicing. And so it is sort of like very much so a meditation for me and something that I really look forward to because it is sort of an escape, you know, from the, from the day to day and from, you know, the mm -hmm. sort of the constant stream of thoughts that are just yeah. happening in our brains all the time. Um, when I'm practicing, yeah. I get to kind of quiet that down a bit. So totally, I love it. totally. Yeah. So, and I think, you know, that's what, that's what sports gives us, man. Like, like, you know, for people like who, like, let's say at the end, age of 30, stop playing sports, stop playing basketball, what they, on the one hand, they lose the athletic part of it, right. but they also lose that ability to be in flow. So for all of you out there, like, you should try to find something that gives you the regular ability to, to experience flow because it, it, it will make you happier. 1,000%, 1,000%. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important too, right? Flow is not just for... Um, freestylers or, or athletes or musicians, right? It's, it's, it's for everyone, right? There, there are ways in anybody. which anybody can enter flow state with whatever it is that they're doing. W would you agree? Exactly. With that? I mean, that's what unites us humans, right? Like we all have the ability. That's why I'm talking to you as a freestyle rapper and I'm working with like hurdle sprinters and I'm working with soccer players. It's because what unites us is the ability to get into that special state, you know? I love that. But um, yeah, man. I love that. Uh, well, we want to do some... Uh, some freestyling here, but before we do, For sure. I just have one last question. So you're, you're a, a hip hop head, right? And, uh, and have been listening to hip hop since you were young. Um, a lot. Yeah. So who are, you know, who are some of your favorites, man? My number one for sure is Tupac. That's just, I don't, you know, oh, I don't yeah. get that much influence from, uh, as you do because you live in the States. So I, you know, I had limited abilities to listen to everything. Right. Of course, you know, right. like sometimes stuff will arrive over here a month later, or two months, even half a year after. Crazy. But for me, man, Tupac, Tupac, because that flow that he has, it came from his heart. He was like when he rapped, you know, it was just like, you know, he would switch up styles and it would be totally like his lyrics were completely from the heart. Every Crazy. little last lyric, you know, he was just doing like like himself. And uh, I love that you were rapping on his on his uh, beats uh, yeah. like, uh, a while ago. Hell and yeah. Uh, yeah. And for me, the second guy, the second guy for sure is, uh, is Eminem. That's just the way, I don't know, like, you know, I was 14, Eminem, yep. you know, I was going big and, you know, I was dealing with some personal issues, man, like yeah. hard issues. And I feel like hip hop and rap, like saved my life. You know, it pulled me out of that. It, it made, it gave me a way to, to vent and to stay in the moment, just stick in there and be like, look, man, like just, just pull through. It'll be good. And I think that's what music gives us the, the ability to do that, you know, and that's, that's why those two men and Eminem, I mean, come on, that's just like an unbelievable. When he, when he really gets going or when he got going, his best yeah. days, man, it was just, there's nobody like him. No, there's, there's certainly not. <laughs> and and, and as, a, as a lyricist and songwriter, I mean, he's, he's one of the greatest to ever do it, you know? I think I, one thing I always say about Eminem, you know, is, is I feel like previously, you know, and I'm, I'm going to speak generally, right, but... Um, Previously, there were, there were lyrical masters who could do these really intricate, multi-syllabic rhyme patterns, right, before Eminem. And mm -hmm. then there were, you know, like storytellers or, or people who could, you know, write songs, maybe, maybe a love song or a song about a breakup or like a song about a family mm -hmm. issue or a political issue. Um, but, but typically, those like concept songs weren't quite as lyrically dense and intricate, you know, so there was kind of this... It seemed like there, for the most part, and I'm, I'm generalizing, right, but, but there, were kind of, there was kind of this choice to make. Are you going to be like the super lyrical, dense, 
multisyllabic style of rapper where it's mostly kind of battle rhymes and flexing yeah. about being dope? Or are you going to kind of have a mm. message and tell a story and put your heart into the record, but it's not going to quite be as intricate, right? And then I feel like what made Eminem so special is that he just brought both of those things together to yeah. where it's extremely yeah. multisyllabic and densely lyrical, but it's also extremely yeah. impactful from a storytelling perspective. And as cliche yeah. as it's become, because it's everybody's favorite verse, you know, a, a prime example of that is palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit yeah. on the sweater already. I was just going to mention that, man. I mean, like the storytelling, yeah, right? Yeah. And the imagery and putting you in that moment. I mean, you feel yeah. nervous yeah. when you listen to it and there's no filler. Then there's no forced lyricism, right? There's no forced rhyming. Exactly. But it's so densely. Yeah multi-syllabic and lyrical while telling For that sure, story man. so yeah well i couldn't i couldn't say it in the way that you did you're obviously the expert on that but what's really funny is yeah man like the like sing for the moment or till i collapse you know when that comes on like till i collapse you know like that's that's something that emotionally gets you like activated to a level that i cannot even explain like it just you know like it makes me want to explode like you know get out there all that energy absolutely and what's funny is man like my my first very big meeting with one of the biggest German coaches uh, here at RB Leipzig in Germany, uh, Ralf Pragnik. It was funny because uh, I was on my way there. You know, I had the meeting. I went in. I was all excited. Back yeah. then, I wasn't like, you know, too conscious of my brain states. Right. And I go in, and I'm like, man, okay, look, like I'm I'm too excited. Let me. And I'm like to the to the guy who got me in. I'm like, yo, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. And he's like, really? I was like, yeah, man. I just gotta take a quick uh, quick piss. You know? Yeah. And he's like, okay. But I went in. I didn't take a piss. I just stood there with the mirror. Right. I looked at myself in the mirror, you know, and all I could, and this is so funny that you mentioned that, man. Yeah. Sometimes life is crazy. Yeah. All I was listening, all I could hear is that, is that song, you know, yeah. that you just mentioned. Yeah. He's weak, uh, you know, his yeah. vomit on his sweat. And I'm like, holy shit, man. Like, it just, it's <laughs> ringing in my ears and I cannot even explain it. I didn't even listen to the song for years. Yeah. And it's right there because it's just like, are you going to take that chance right now? Are you going to deliver, man? Or are you just going to like, Right. You know, like right. just let it be, you know, let your chance get away. So I think I took that chance. I'm pretty happy about it. But yeah, man, like <laughs> uh, music, man, that's that's what it's all about being in the moment. And Eminem gives you the ability. Same Tupac and you too, man. So honestly, like keep doing what you're doing, man. Hell yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, I'm going to definitely help you get over here in Germany more. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely spreading it to people here, man. So well, we appreciate that Keep so going. much, man. Thank you, bro. It's, it's an absolute blessing to have you here on the stream. Chat, throw this man some hearts right now. Show him some love right now. <laughs> uh, we really appreciate you joining us, man. And uh, I think it's time, man. I got I to kick a freestyle for you here real quick. So um, let's do it. I'm feeling very inspired by that conversation. I, can, I definitely have plenty to go off. But before I dive in, is there any particular word or phrase you wanted to, to throw me? Or do you want me to just kind of summarize what we talked about? Well, I, I, our uh, our most like the the hashtag that we all agreed on uh, is train your brain. That's the number one thing. Is like you have to keep you know train your brain and stuff like that. And like you know flow, obviously. Yes. We talked about and uh, yeah, just man, whatever, man, just kick it, dude. I'm just like, super excited <laughs> to hear this. Let's go. Super excited, man. Let's go. All right, uh, Twitch. We're here. We're here with Nick, flow state expert, neuroscientist. And uh, founder and CEO of Neuro11. Train your brain. Let's get it. Hey. Ah. Come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. 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 When I'm spitting, I'm insane with flames. Uh. We come together just to train the brain. Come on. We come together just to. We come together just to. We come together just to train the brain. Let's go. When I'm spitting, man, I can't refrain. Uh. When I'm spitting, I'm the same with flames. Come on. We come together just to train the brain. Listen. We come together just to. Come on. Hey. Anytime I rock a flow, I know that it's gonna go great. Meditate before I spit and then I enter flow state. Y'all know that I'm in it, man. I got these rappers shrinking. Gotta find my path. I ain't trying to overthink it. Yeah. But also, I can't be too tired. I need my eight hours of sleep so I can spit that fire. I've had occasions where I'm supposed to be lyrically spawning, but I only slept for five, so I'm on stage yawning. Nah, gotta move past it. Y'all know it's my purpose. Entering the flow state, I ain't gonna get nervous. Every time I'm running, man, you know I'm about to triumph, kid. Had to tap in with the 
the famous neuroscientist We gon' make it happen I send rappers to heaven They yo, they channel in my brain Waves like Neuro 11 Yo, they connected to my brain And they got it on the scanner Every Mac, whenever he's spitting They turn this man up Go! When I'm spitting, I'm insane with flames Come on, yeah You know I'm a game, my thing I came to flame You rappers, I'm insane May frames collapsing every time I'm spitting Cause I train my brain So let's go Hey, come off the top You know my lyrics are vital Hey, check my signals Before I shoot the rifle Hey, check my signals before I do the free kick. Hey, meditated, y'all know that the sweetness of nectar from meditation enters my mind. Uh, I'm thinking back and I remember a time when I had to do some bars next to Kendrick Lamar. It was the most nervous moment in my life thus far. I was shaking, I was sweating, you can tell on the vid. Everyone was nervous for me, they like, you okay, kid? You can do it. A few bars into the flow, I remember the flow state and started to go. Yeah, took me a minute just for me to warm up. Soon as I remembered, my lyrics start to storm up. We about to do it, man, the mic, I'm about to roast this. Shout my homie Nick, he's working with world famous coaches. Yeah, they heard of me, he hit me up purposely. He said I'm about to work with some of the coaches in Germany. We gon' figure out how to get the soccer players in a way where they can really do it in terms of the slayers they was meant to be. Eventually, I move through the centuries. Y'all know when I meditate, go so deep that I levitate. Met all up in it when I'm spitting, I got mad swag. Bring them back to the hook, y'all know the hashtag. What? When I'm spitting, I'm insane with flames. Hey, we in the session, we gon' train the brain. Come on, yeah, we gon' maintain them things. Hey, meditating, y'all know I'ma train my brain. Let's go. When I spit, I'm insane with flames. Yeah, yeah, you know we maintain them things. Let's get it. Hey, we just came to change the brain. H Mac and the doctor, we gon' train your brain. Let's go. <laughs> Man, that was unreal, man. So sick. Thank man. you, bro. Jesus, man. Like, how you combine that, you know? Like, those different things, man. Like, it's like we talk about it and then you just put it straight in there, man. Like, unbelievable. Oh, thank unbelievable, you, bro. Man. Thanks so much. My like, pleasure. What an experience, man. My pleasure. Unreal. Nick, thank you so much for joining unreal, us, man. man. We, we really appreciate you coming on stream and sharing some of your knowledge with us and, you know, I'm somebody who Beautiful. cares Beautiful. a lot about flow state and, and I know the community is really appreciative as well. So uh, one last time, chat, throw this man some hearts. Thank you for joining us, Nick. I'm going to give you some air horns, man. See you guys. And uh, yeah, everybody <laughs> uh, keep your eye out for Nero 11. Do you want to plug your, your channels? I'm sure you're on Instagram and things like that. Yeah, just, uh, just look us up. It's Nero 11 official. Cool. Um, I'm on Twitter too, Nero Nicholas. Check that out. So, uh, awesome. yeah, I'll be happy to get in touch, you know, even more topics. If it's about flow in the brain, I'm always open. Thanks a lot, Harry, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Positive vibes. Let's go. My Keep pleasure. Going. My pleasure. And let's definitely be in touch, man. Um, more, more building on flow state in the future, I can guarantee. And uh, you enjoy the rest of your day. All right, Nick? Thanks, man. You too, buddy. All right. See ya. Peace. Okay. Wow. Got it. Train your brain, baby. That was crazy. Damn, I learned so much. That was fucking awesome. Shout out to Nick. Oh my god. Shout out, Nick. It's just amazing, man. Flow state. I mean, these things, right? Like you go your whole life. You know, I mean, I remember my first recital on violin. I talk about it in my raps a lot. I was seven years old. Cried the whole time. Couldn't play. I was yeah. so scared. You know, I was just so scared. And it's crazy to imagine that back then, you know, at age seven. Uh, there was like a real neurological thing happening in my brain. You know, I wasn't able to enter flow state. Obviously, I was seven. And, you know, I guess a lot of little kids are nervous, but <laughs> most of them don't meditate. But it's just wild. All the times I've been nervous in the past and, and just felt like, you know, that was some mysterious force that I, that I would never be able to conquer, or that there could never be like, you know, a dedicated plan of action to attempt to, to reduce that feeling in the future. And, and it turns out that there is, you know, and, and it's this concept of flow. So pretty awesome. Peace.